Your plan seemed to work. The Monger's thugs ambushed me. I heard. I also heard you had no problems dealing with them. It wasn't my first fight in Corinth. Or your last. We're going to take the Monger to task at the theater. I've arranged a Corinthian drama no one will forget. Rasidas is worried about the anarchy that could follow the Monger's death. He wants him dead, but wants it done quietly. That man is a long way from Sparta. This is Corinthia, so we'll do it the Corinthian way. I'm with you. We'll put on a show. Meet me and my girls there. The public has no idea what spectacle they're about to witness. Come on. the fucking show? I wanted you to see the face of every person you've wronged. I'll cover their faces with that precious blood of yours. Just like I should have done with Mirini. You'll never rule these streets, you pig! Oh, you... Bet your pretty face I will. Get your filthy hands! And when I do, I'll rip your fucking head right off and send it to the cult as proof! You... you knew my mother? She was big fucking trouble, but I'll pay her back. When I'm done with you, I'm gonna find your mother and bring her your fucking head! Not if I bring her yours first. They won't have much to say after I smash your brains all over the stage. Get the fuck off my streets! They're not yours anymore. Get the fuck off my streets! Yeah! 
People of Corin, behold the weasel that steals your bread, the scourge that spoils your crops. Demos would be disappointed in you. She is dead! It's time. Soak in your victory, then meet me somewhere quiet. I'll tell you all I know about your mother. I can't give you enough thanks for what you've done. <laughs> and for once, I can also thank Alcibiades. He sent you here, after all. There is more to him than meets the eye. He knew you could save Corin from that beast. Everybody benefits, everybody wins. You've proven to be a very valuable business partner. Speaking of business, you owe me, Anthusa. Yes, Mirini. She came and left Corinthia in a flurry, but made an impression on me. Like a great storm. I remember that part of her well. A strong woman with great intensity. She wanted to find her place here in Corinth, but never found what she was looking for. You speak of her kindly. You were her friend. Perhaps on the surface, but she had a great pain in the middle of her that no one could get to. Did she find work? She kept to herself, with one eye always on the port. She could have stayed with us, but I think she was looking for something else. Was there no mention of her past? A husband, a family? Nothing. Speaking of Sparta only brought her misery. It's like a part of her was missing. After Corinth, where did she go? That? I don't know. She must have given you some hint. I don't think even she knew where she was headed. All I know is she won a ship thanks to a lucky dice throw. Tihi owed her that much, at least. I remember the ship's name well. Siren Song. Siren Song? It was famous for weathering all that Poseidon threw in its path. Thank you, Anthusa. May the gods look well upon you, Alexios. Visit me anytime. I'll catch you up on Corinth's affairs. It seems I have an interesting future ahead of me. So do I. Iron Sun. If I can find someone who knows the ship, I'll be one step closer to finding her. <sighs> I don't see any soldiers here. Only pirates. They must be running the whole island. Have mercy! You want mercy? Ah! Those who trade in slaves anywhere on my island will be marked as slaves themselves, then hauled to Attica and fed to the system they tried to profit from. Get this scum out of my sight. <laughs> I thought all pirates were slavers. And you are? My name is Alexios. Well, Alexios, we're all thought to be murderers too. So tell me why I shouldn't kill you right here. 
I came to find the great pirate Tixenia. That's you, isn't it? I like the sound of that. But what was your plan once you found me? I came to offer you a deal. Sneaking into my city is a strange way to make a first impression. I needed to speak with you directly. I didn't think your pirates would just let me walk up and knock. Then speak. I'm looking for a woman. She left Sparta when I was a child. I'll need more than that, Alexios. She has birthmarks on her arm that form the constellation Aquila. Now, that is something I can work with. Just who exactly is this woman? She's my mother. I haven't seen her since I was a child. So, you're on a quest to find your family? Something like that. Then your path is not an easy one. Aspasia is the one who sent me to find you. Aspasia? Now why would she do that? She said you might have information that could help me in my search. You can have anything for the right price. And what is that price? One you can afford, I'm sure. Here, take your me. Nothing feels better than a heavy purse filled with coin. The information I need. How long will it take? I already have it. You do? Yomerini now sails under the name of Finicas. She started as a member of my crew, but we parted ways not too long ago. I'm leaving soon. Chaos is your home. But this isn't my true calling. My purpose. You might never find what you're looking for, Finicas. I can't stop until I do. You are a great pirate. And you are an even greater friend. Don't forget me. Do you know where she is now? She sailed southeast with her crew in search of a greater calling. She was part of your crew? For a time. Why did she leave? Much too interested in the politics of war. A waste of a good pirate, if you ask me. I haven't heard from her since she left. Chaos is a long way from Sparta. How did your paths cross? On the sea, long ago. In her, I saw a better life. In me, she found freedom. Together, we own the waves. I can't believe she was a pirate. She's the kind of woman who, once she sets her mind to something, gets it done. Thank you. I... Home isn't a place. It's the people you're with. If you don't find what you're looking for, there's a place for you here. Phoenicus. There have to be people who know that name. I should have enough information now. I should head back to Athens to see Aspasia.
Alexios, you're back. Got to run, sorry. Wait, where? I'll be right back. See you at Aspasias. Sometimes I think you are too much like me. Friends, I know you are angry. And you have the right to be. Why do they hide in their houses and not quiet? Aspasia. Oh, Alexios. You've returned to Athens. What's left of Athens? The world we've built is crumbling at our feet. It's bleak, but it hasn't killed you. You're right. But everything Pericles has built is being destroyed. It's chaos outside these walls. People have forgotten how to be people. I came to talk to you. I found out some things about my mother. Her name, her ship. Alexios, it's not the time. Pericles is dying. He won't see me. He won't let Hippocrates in his room. He only babbles about going to his precious Parthenon. Pericles is a strong man. I'm sure he can fight this sickness. You heard the mob. He can't defend himself. He'll die with no glory. Athens has known him a lot longer than they've known this plague. He gave them a voice. His accomplishments will speak for him. <sighs> Pericles needs treatment, and the gods know he won't let me in. He respects you. Could you go to him? I could try. If you do, I will make the time to talk about your mother. For now, he needs your help. It's worth a shot. Good. I can't move. I <laughs> It's Alexios. Yes. Come in. It's embarrassing. Someone so strong seeing me like this. You look healthy as ever. Tell Aspasia that. She won't worry so much about me. I brought your drugs. Ah, yes. It's usually Phoebe who does the delivering. At least I'm alive. Though I can't say the same for my city. It's a shadow of what it was. Well, it will belong to Cleon now. He will have to lift it out of its sorry state. I wish to see it with my own eyes. Come to the balcony. Much has changed. I can't even stand up straight to look death in the eye. You'll recover sooner if you let Hippocrates see you. It's my time. The plague chooses is no favorites. I fear I've failed Athens. Its people? Aspasia? No, you haven't. Ah, you're kind, but I've lost. Aspasia needs protection, as does Athens. I thought I gave enough to Athena, but it seems it isn't so. I should be out there, on the streets. You'd be overtaken. There are mobs, and Cleon's doing nothing to calm them. Thank the gods, Cleon won't see me like this. But that's all I can thank the gods for. They've turned on me. 
It's not the gods' fault. It's the world. It's turned upside down. Athens' fate is decreed. All we can do now is wait. You should go back inside. You need to rest. Where I should be is in the Parthenon. My greatest legacy to Athens. We need the gods' blessing. But Aspasia... Aspasia's right. She often is. But not about this. Yes. I'll go inside. Thank you, Alexios. Tell my Aspasia I was a good boy and took my drugs. I will. Pericles let me in. He took his drugs without complaint. Thank you. Something wrong? I expected Phoebe back by now. I saw her in the crowds outside. Did you send her somewhere? I had her go to Anastasios to see about a ferry. As soon as Pericles is strong enough, we're leaving Athens. We have to. But now she's missing. I'm sure she's all right. Aspasia, there's a plague. You've seen the streets. She's just a child. Give her the credit she deserves. She's more of a fighter than I was at her age. I told Pericles the cult is in Athens. It's too dangerous. The cult? I thought it was the sickness talking. I'm going to look for her. Where is Anastasios' house? It's across from the Odeon of Pericles. Here. This looks like the place. By the gods, what happened here? This was savage, done to send a message. I'm glad Phoebe wasn't here. Hopefully she's safe. Limos must be carrying through on her threat. Adios.
Alexios! Are you all right? I need to speak to Aspasia. We must find Pericles first. He's missing. I don't fucking care! Tell me where Aspasia is! Alexios! <sighs> I'm sorry. Phoebe. Aspasia went to find Pericles at the Parthenon. She should be there. I think we'd better go with him. I agree, my friend. I agree. There you are, Alexios. Quickly, Pericles may be inside. What's gotten into you? Phoebe is dead. She's dead because you sent her to do your work. No, I... It's not true. Phoebe wanted to go. She told me she would be all right. And you believe the child? You know Phoebe. She wouldn't have taken no for an answer. It was out of my hands. Out of your hands? You sent her away! You could have protected her! What I asked of her was needed to protect Pericles. She lived to help others, Alexios. She lived to help you. It's a tragedy. She should be here. Of course she should. But you know the cost of living this life. I do. But if Phoebe... Aspasia, you're here. Any sign of Pericles? If he's here, he's inside praying. He refused to stay safe in the villa. Things have gotten even worse in the Agora. It's madness. Speak later and act now. Pericles... <gasps> Go! Stay out of my way. is lost now. He was a great man. Perhaps greater than we even knew. We need to get her out of Athens. We'll take my ship. We have to leave. Don't let him die in vain. Never. We have to move quickly. Stay close, just in case.
Cleon has ordered that no one leave Athens. And he wants Aspasia brought to him. I'm not going. Leave. Don't let them go. Only <laughs> Clear now. Let's go. We're going to stay, Alexios. What? Why? My work is here. I can't leave the Athenians in the state they're in. You don't need us to protect Aspasia. Leave Athens to us. You saw what happened to Pericles. You want the same to happen to you? If every dissenting voice disappears, the people won't turn against him. They need me here. You're sure? I have lived as an Athenian, and I will die as an Athenian. Then do something for me, both of you. Of course. Retrieve Phoebe's body. Give her a proper burial. Everything she deserves, and more. Thank you. Time to go, Alexios. I expect to see you both again, alive. The farther we get from Athens, the quieter it grows, as though it's peaceful. But I know better. I'm sorry, Aspasia, about Pericles. And Athens. You have no need to apologize for anything. It feels like I let everyone down. I didn't get to them quick enough. Didn't make the right decisions. It's not your fault. There's no one to blame but the cult of Cosmos. About Phoebe. No, allow me. Phoebe was my responsibility. I should have kept her closer to me. It was a mistake. No. I wanted to apologize. It wasn't your fault. I'm sorry. Yet another murder to the cult's credit. I'll make each of them beg for mercy before I kill them. The time will come. For now, let us look to the future. Do you have a heading? I was hoping you would help me with that. Yes, of course. This woman. Phinecas. Her ship was called Siren Song. Phinecas. Yes, I know the name. Last anyone heard, her ship was docked on the island of Naxos. <sighs> then we go to Naxos, to see Phinecas. That volcano? It's pretty hard to miss. Some say there is an entrance to the underworld at the bottom. And what? You enter by diving in it? That's the spirit. A brave Arcadian I once knew had the same idea. And uh, what happened? The heat of the flames turned him to ashes before he knew the halfway down. I guess some mysteries are best left unexplored. 